Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to tell you about the uh, dangerous software called Password Keeper. Currently, this uh, so-called Password Keeper is spread through fake uh, Flash Player Update alerts. You can see this Flash installer, and when trying to execute it, uh, this uh, Password Keeper pops up. The developers of this uh, so-called uh, Password Keeper claim that it will help you to keep your um, passwords in a safe place. However, considering the fact that it is promoted by means of these fake uh, Flash Player installers, I strongly urge you not to install anything like that, because it is extremely dangerous. If you share your password through this password keeper, you are under the risk of losing your password. It may be granted to third parties illegally, and uh, you may uh, just realize how many problems you may experience after that. If you have shared some of your passwords through this so-called password keeper, I strongly advise that you change your uh, Mac password. Now, uh, speaking about these uh, fake Flash Player update alerts, uh, they may also bring a lot of other potentially unwanted programs into your Mac computer. So what you need to do is to close these pop-up windows, then carefully research your available Mac applications. If you locate something suspicious here in the list, uh, right-click on it and move it to the trash. Now, um, secondly, my strong recommendation is that you uh, scan your Mac with Combo Cleaner antivirus, which will help you to uh, find any other hidden adware or malware that could be in your Mac. So go to the page combocleaner.com, download the software, then uh, let it update its antivirus database and click on Start Combo Scan to begin the detailed investigation of your Mac. This is the end of scanning by Combo Cleaner Antivirus. As I said, the program initially is uh, in the trial mode, however, uh, the antivirus feature will give you the detailed and full report about the threats on your Mac. You may click on Review Results and you will see the uh, exact number of threats and not only the list of threats, but their location too. For instance, we have this particular threat, this very first one. You may click on this icon that says Show in Finder. So this will show you its location in Finder. You may right-click on this thread and move it to the trash. You may do the same thing with all other threads, so this will help you to remove them manually, or you may uh, consider purchasing the premium version of the program to get rid of all these threads automatically.